Hello, John Schiff here again, and I want to share with you a procedure we use here at Obtanium to evaluate MMR or Tech X coolers. But first, let's quickly cover what an X cooler is and what it does. I have very simply put, these units are what's called a cryo cooler, and they are AC powered, closed loop, self contained refrigeration units, and they're used for keeping germanium photon detectors very, very cold. Germanium detectors are chilled with liquid nitrogen typically and they do their job detecting gamma and x-rays and uh, X-Cooler offers a nice reliable alternative to that nitrogen cooling. Okay, now with that said, here's how we check them out. This method is by no means comprehensive but it does give us a fairly reliable means of ascertaining the general viability of the unit. So. We carefully have transferred the unit to the cart, making sure not to tilt the compressor box more than 10 degrees. Now the reason for this is that there's a potential for oil to spill into the gas return lines. And if that were the case, you'd want to let it sit at least 6 hours and ideally 24 hours before starting it up. And as a routine precaution, we let these sit overnight before turning them on. Okay, next. Uh, the unit's powered up and is normal. The compressor kicks on within approximately 15 minutes. Uh, the compressor sounds smooth and uniform as it should and the warm air exiting the back of the compressor tells you that the heat exchanger is doing its job. And after about an hour and a half you can easily detect that the cold head is well below room temperature and depending on the size of your detector and the ambient temperature can take anywhere from 12 to 20 or more hours to be adequately cooled and obviously here we don't have it set up to a detector. Now it's important to note that the X cooler refrigerant is a mixture of gases that go through a separation process uh, when the compressor is running. So after about 15 minutes of initial cooling that heat exchanger is doing its job and the refrigerant is beginning to separate. Now at this point, if the compressor is shut off, it must be allowed to come back to room temperature to allow that refrigerant to recombine. After everything looks in order, we power the unit down and let it sit undisturbed for at least a couple hours when the uh, cooling head has come up to room temperature and uh, everything feels comfortable to the touch. We go ahead and move it into storage. Okay, so when transferring to storage, we're mindful of uh, keeping it level in an upright position and careful to leave the hoses relaxed and coiled how they naturally wish to lay to avoid kinking or damaging the fittings. And that's how we do it here at Obtanium. I hope you find this information helpful and contact us if I can be of further service. Be sure to subscribe and like us, that's always appreciated. And till next time, John Schiff here and I'm here to help you do great things. Take care.